Hi everyone, what's up? I'm Pritam and you are watching Technical Portal YouTube channel. So friends, from today onwards, we are going to learn the most beautiful and effective part of Microsoft Excel and that is of course the pivot table and dashboards. You can find many tutorials on this topic. But in this video tutorial series, I am going to use simple English to interact with you and more descriptive of the important part and features of pivot tables that will obviously help you to learn and understand more clearly. Since this will be a video series, so if you have any queries of that day's topic, you can ask into the comment section. I'll make sure to clear your doubts. So let's start with the introduction of pivot table and the data file used into this video is taken from a real world project that is done by me. I will give you the link of downloading this excel workbook also into my description box so please check it out, download it and practice yourself for further improvement of your excel skills and knowledge of course. So guys a pivot table is a quick way to show a summary for many rows of data. It is a flexible alternate to a structured worksheet report that has typed headings and formulas to calculate the totals. The beauty of pivot tables is they allow you to interactively explore your data in different ways. Pivot tables are used to summarize, short, reorganize, group, count, total or average data shorted in a database. It allows its users to transform columns into rows and rows into columns also in a single click. It allows grouping by any data field with very little effort you can use a pivot table to build a good looking reports for large data sets though that is so much easy but there are few things to go through before you build a pivot table being prepared can save you lots of time and troubleshooting later so look at here carefully what we need to actually go through before building a pivot table number one check the source data the most crucial part of building a pivot table is check your source data at first to be sure that it is organized correctly number two that is set a goal think about what you want to show in the pivot table what do you want to count or sum however you can use lots of other functions and your creativity too but count and sum are the most used functions often Number three, that is think about the layout. Even if you haven't made a pivot table before, you have probably created Excel reports on a worksheet. Imagine what that would look like and set up a small report on a worksheet with a couple of headings and some fake numbers or sketch out the report on paper to help you picture what should go where. And number four and the final step is create a quick pivot table now where you have done all the preparation steps you are ready to create pivot table so what are we waiting for let's create a beautiful pivot table so as you have seen into the beginning of this video or you can see into the trailer of this video series i have created this pivot table where i have some graphs and some sales number or slicer you can say where i can select lots of data at once or the separate ones in my data sheet look at here it is showing the only data i have clicking into the slides how to create it i will go through it step by steps so watch my steps carefully so at first in the sheet one there is the main data of my pivot table so after clicking anywhere of the database you can go to the insert tab let me pin this okay then click on the pivot table it will automatically select whole of your database and show you the data source range here right you can optionally choose the source result or source range here by clicking like this it allows you like this also right 
or you can use an external data source like if you have a database in another file of excel you can bring that into this excel file of pivot table also so let me select this sheet cancel it i'm showing you again click anywhere into your database and go to the insert tab click on pivot table look at here it automatically selects all your data now let's move on to the second step that choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed that means where you want the pivot table to be created in a new worksheet or the existing worksheet that means if you select the new worksheet option it will create a new worksheet and there you can have the pivot table options there but if any of the case you want to create the pivot table into the existing worksheet you can select this option and there you need to choose any of the location where you want the pivot table to be created look at here wherever you select the location the pivot table will be created into that cell right so i am selecting a new worksheet so that the pivot table will be created into a new worksheet click on ok look at here a new worksheet that is named as sheet 2 has been created here into this existing workbook only right whenever you create a pivot table you will get two more tabs here that is analyze and design i'll come back one by one option into this series right so this is a traditional pivot table look but if you don't want or if you don't like this look you can switch to the classic view of this pivot table just select on this pivot table data range and go to the pivot table options here go to the display option click on the classic pivot table layout click on ok look at here it has been switched into a classic view of pivot table now let me visualize what i want into this pivot table if i go to the main sheet i can notice that there are some season sale number auction date lot number broker name buyer mark grade quantity in kgs invoice number deal price amount packages right so what i want to see i want to see that what is the average deal price of that sold aid item of broker name that is ab how to do it let's move on to our sheet 2 where our pivot table has been created as we want the list or the sale value of the broker name so this is the broker name look at here the pivot table fields are here right so select and move the broker name to the rows or you can directly drag and drop it here right it will create like this and what we are searching for we want the values of average deal price of that particular broker right so how to find the average deal price of that broker go to the pivot table fields again now find that deal price column here it is now select it and drop it here or you can directly drop it to the values table right look at here the total is showing that means this is not the average but this is the sum of deal price you can notice here right that is a simple trick how to find the average of deal price how to do it just click on this drop down arrow here look at here in the value table it is showing sum of deal price so if you click on here and go to the value field settings here you can have lots of options i will cover into my this video series so after selecting it click on the average option here click on ok look at here the average sale price or deal price is here right after that if you don't want this much decimal places into here you have to do one thing that is go to the value field settings again by clicking here now go to the number format here select number and select the decimal places you want two means there will be shown only two decimal places after the point so i'm selecting two only 
click on OK, again OK, look at here, the decimal price has been decreased. Now if you only want the broker name of AB, just click on this drop down menu here you can have the option of filters. Just untick the select all option and click on AB. Look at here, it will show only the AB broker into this pivot table. Isn't it cool friends? Again, if you want to select all, select this all, check this option and click on OK. It will show you the result automatically. So that's all for today friends. Into this video, don't forget to share your opinions as well as your queries into the comment section. I'll come back soon with the next part of this video. Till then, keep learning, keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.